Okay, so first thing, this game is, is hella loud. Every time I try to record it, it just, it is loud. <laughs> anyway, I'm playing E1536 today, and it's it's a pretty sweet looking game that, it's from the Hellenet PS1 Game Jam. Um, I love the screenshots. It's It's got a vibe, you know? I mean, so many of the games from those jams do, but I don't know. It, it just caught my attention, so yeah, that's it. But yeah, as you can see, the cursor, it's its hell out. Please tone down the audio next time. Indie game devs, audio can just tone it down sometimes. Anyway, let's start it. Um, first, I'll, I'm going to check the controls. Controls. It doesn't seem like it works with a controller. I tried it and I couldn't get it to work. So, so R's for movement, shift to run, Z, um, I'm, I'm not British, so Z to attack, I mean, I'm not American either, I'm Brazilian, so, yeah, uh, Z to attack, X for an instant kill, like, ah, oh, so I guess she got powers, yeah, it, it got me Galarian's vibes or something, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited for that, I for inventory, intuitive, yeah, your space to interact and ask to pause or exit. Press any key. Okay. Fun. I like that. Um, let's check out the credits. Jess Ham. Thai Mock. Michaela Jones. Kalpt Hans Friedrich. Oh, oh, why am I weird? <laughs> well, uh, interesting people. Okay. New game. This is a vibe. The hour and date of the U boat's last recorded transmission coincides with an attack by two short Sunderlands of Coastal Command upon a submersible of similar The first aircraft was shot down by the U boat's automated anti aircraft gunner. Von Schechter promptly ordered a crash dive, and the second Sunderland released its payload with reportedly inconclusive results. That's sick. Makes me think about how much science has changed from the 90s to today, especially in the realm of quantum physics and everything. Which is, it's funny because. Like. Games that emulate that era will emulate them greatly, but when you talk about topics from that era, the science is so different. It's, it's, it's hella cool, actually. I, I love, I appreciate it. Yes, honey. <laughs> I'm getting my hands right. Yeah, I am totally here for that. I am so excited. Huh. Ah! 
I, I'm, if you guys could see me, I, I, I'm really smiling pretty intensely. This is so exciting. I don't know why I'm so excited. No, the intro was hella cool. I know why I'm... So oh, look at the screen. Oh my god. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. I, I, I can hear... I don't know if this is the soundtrack or if there are things on the room. I am uncomfortable already. That's 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 sickening. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Ah, she can kick. That's hella cool. Oh my god. <gasps> what? That's insane. What the hell? Um. Should I go to the dog? That's where I came from, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go. I'm scared. <laughs> ah! Crew sleeping quarters. Um, is this an object or just? Okay. There's something there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything about this is, is like is so cool. The, the static nails it. The three D model is kind of weird, but like it adds to the the jang. You know, it's especially the animations. The, they're kind of like uh, uh, otherworldly is what I would say makes me think of how I felt with Jade Cocoon that game how it scared me despite not being a horror game but anyway look at these angles okay I got bandages yeah I was certainly not paying attention okay cool mm. so do I get a weapon no she really just kicks, which is crazy. I never expected. Right. Need a key. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. So, can I kick? Am I supposed to just go and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should I run? Um... Okay, the screen transitions are kind of weird. It is out of commission. Yeah. Hella no. No! Get away. Okay. So, I, uh, yeah, I can go. Um, wh what is this? Oh, uh, so, uh. Oh, I am supposed to fight. I have two bandages, so. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, what is this girl? That's crazy! <gasps> oh my god! Okay! Yeah, I'm here for that. That's it, period. Oh my god. Crazy. Huh. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, so this is, this, what is this? The lead pole. Okay, kick, 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 kick. 
So I can just unlock these ice angels um, and then press X to get finish them. I mean, I'm not scared anymore, but I'm tense. She's cool. I have the slight feeling that this is sort of a self-insert, but like, I appreciate that because I do that a lot. I mean, if it is, it's, it's hella cool. If it's not, it's still cool, but I just love games where the developers like reflect themselves in it. Okay, it is. St oh yeah, I'm supposed to use the pull. Yeah, <gasps> playing and recording at the same time is kind of weird. I, that's why I, I usually don't do this. But this game is cool. It caught my attention. So it's on the. Um, it is stuck tight, but I do have a pull. I don't. I mean, I could use the pull to pry it open, but I'm not sure this is what I'm supposed to do. Probably missed something in the other rooms. That I did not want to stay back and check because there is an enemy there. Okay. There was something that was wrong here, right? It's not this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna fix a control panel with a stick. What was that though? I didn't interact with it. Nothing in here. The ladder to the... Con yeah, but I do have... Can I fix it with that? Not really. Um, okay. Cunning tower. What's what's cunning supposed to mean? I'm sorry, English is not my first language. Oh, what ha what did oh, I, uh um yeah. Bugs, sorry. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, it was locked. What am I gonna do with a pull in it? I'm, I'm gonna try to use the pull in it anyway. Don't do a thing. Right. Oh my god, stop frightening me. I hate the transitions where I can see where I am. I don't like that at all. I'm glad she just stun locks pulls into oblivion though. Badass. Yeah. That combo really feels good to pull off. I mean, it's simple, like you just mash a button, but Okay, if these enemies were giving me experience points, I would be hella happy. So, I am supposed to interact with that. The animation for her, her kicks it is really kind of uncanny, a little. Which, like, it adds to the flavor. So that is where I came from. Okay. It really is torpedo tubes in remarkably, remarkably good condition. Okay. 
Okay, but how do I access that shining thing there? Hmm. Okay, with the shiny thing though. Yeah, no, I don't want to interact with the Trippetto. Not at all. Oh, I don't want to give up. I wonder if that's what Let's Players do. Like, they try multiple jam games and then discard 90% of them. I saw it in the background there. Oh, oil can. Uh huh. I missed that the first time. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with the oil can? Probably oil that door. Like, to make it unstuck, I think. Yeah, the fixed camera angles here is kind of kind of disorienting, disorienting, a little bit. I really like how this game really stuck with the resolution and the color space and everything. It's great. I'm not gonna be able to read his name. I, I have that already, right? I have bandages. Um, I, I don't know. So many things went through my mind during that conversation. Um, so I should... You're not gonna die because it went there, are you? Okay. Um... Okay. Yo, I cannot see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice angle. No, 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 no! Kick him! Or, or, or them. I don't know their gender. I like the, the death animation, this is really cool. And it's very PS1 accurate too. That's pretty much everything in this game. Okay, so that was the med kit. Cool. Wait. That room look, looks interesting. The reflection is kind of disorienting, but not about it. Um, uh, <laughs> something's gonna happen. <laughs> That's cool. I don't see their corpses though. I don't think she knows their names. Maybe she does. I am here for this. Perhaps you have 
have occurred, the reactor malfunctioned and perpetuating the disappearance of ships and aircraft in your vicinity, not to mention those interdimensional aliens that keep swarming all over the place. These problems are liable to continue unless the reactor is repaired. Do you know of any such means? I'm a covenant to employ the men in service of the father. I command ships. I know nothing about such machines. I figured as much. I suppose, too, that the experimental nature of the reactor would have required the supervision of an individual reasonably knowledgeable on the subject. Yes. Eric Klaus, my engineer. But if there is, let the others see. Then perhaps I can make sense of any documentation lying around. Hmm. The audio quality suddenly got better. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I totally ignore the last part. Where was it? The medical wing. Who? Who? What? What the fuck? Wait. Uh, no. She. She asked him to go there. Wait for her. Right. Wasn't that? Talk to me. How do I you know you're not a devil clone? Yeah, I just want to make sure that that's not that. Are these creatures by any chance inspired by Parasite Eve angels? Like, not Parasite Eve, ultimate being fish thing, or Quetzalcoatl. I don't know. So. Oh yeah, he gave me the key to his room? I don't think he did. Kick, 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 kick. I really like the design of the creature and like the, the texture. It's, it's really cool. What if I don't finish the enemy? Well, it doesn't seem to be a safe function so I don't want to bother. If I die, I'm gonna be really mad, so. I should use this banner just now, shouldn't I? Control panel. Yeah, yeah, I have to go to his room, I think. He did give me the key. I wonder what awaits me there. <gasps> Girl, get out. <laughs> oh my god, she's like. She's kicking the hell out of them interdimensional creatures while delivering deadpan lectures about interdimensional space travel like she she's hella cool oh my god oh this is the same map cuz when i changed screens the enemy was back there interesting i wonder how this game was built Well, I can sort of guess how the system f works for you. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh girl. <laughs> no. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> that was a really fun experience. I loved it a lot. Yeah, that was great. Um, very PS1 accurate. Very... Not not that means, like... It's fine to be PS1 inaccurate, but I, but I appreciate the extent to which the developer went to make it very PS1 accurate. Um, I, it, it just, it, it is spooky, but also she is just a badass, so that's really cool. I loved it. Um, yeah, that was hella fun. I am looking forward to seeing more things from this developer. That was great. Um, yeah. Why, why am I saying so many ums? Anyway, I don't record much, so whatever. Thanks for watching, and try this out. I mean, you you saw this video already, already watched it, so but I guess you should try it for yourself, because it's fun. And uh, try more titles from the PS1 horror jam game event. Anyway, I'm bad at this. Bye.